Thousands of you asked News 5 to investigate a video of what appears to be students bullying a classmate with special needs at a Mobile County school. In a News 5 exclusive interview, Dana Winter spoke with the mother of the bullied boy. Dana's here in the studio. And Dana, what does the mother hope comes from posting the video? Well, with more than 20,000 views on her original Facebook post, Sarah Shearer tells News 5 she hopes the video brings change so students are more accepting of their special needs classmates. Daniel if, if, has the most wonderful personality. Daniel Shearer is a student at Lott Middle School. His mom, Sarah, tells News 5 that's where her son with autism was bullied. The video shows students talking to Daniel. Hey, y'all, uh, he's his mom says she was shocked when her older son first showed it to her. I immediately took him out of school when I found the video that morning. Shear tells us her older son initially found the video posted on a student's Snapchat story. She says when she told Daniel she had seen the video, he was crushed. He said, it, you know, it was bad enough that they did it, but why did they put it on Snapchat for everybody to see? You know, and I asked him what he wanted, and he said he wanted justice. And so I promised justice, and um, I promised that he would not have to um, go through this anymore. Citronelle police confirmed they are looking into the incident but cannot comment on the ongoing investigation. We've also confirmed the Mobile District Attorney's Office's bully blocker program is looking into the video. Sarah says she just wants change so other students don't have to go through what her son did. We just asked that everybody talk to their kids. There were other, as we know now, there were other people saw this going on before today and um, empower them to tell. She says she hopes Mobile County Public Schools steps up, bringing change to students across the district. That they bring um, information about bullying into our school, that they make it available to all the students, and that the students have someone that they can go to that they freely can tell, because not one student in that school reported that, um, that video. We reached out to Mobile County Public Schools to see if they're doing anything about the video. An email from Sarah shows it was sent to the superintendent, but we've not heard back to see if anything will be done. Reporting live in studio, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on.